So in this second half of a two-part series on DJI Waypoints 2.0, I'm gonna demonstrate how I set up my waypoints manually. If you haven't watched the first part of this series, go ahead and watch it. It's gonna pop out right here on the note cards. Watch that first and then come back here and watch this one. In that video, I demonstrate how to pre-plan your flight mission before you actually get out on location. But because I can't do that in this situation, because when I bring up the map, it's an open field. And right now they have begun construction. And so there is some steel work out there and there is some infrastructure and things like that. But when I bring up the map, I can't set the flight ahead of time. So I actually have to go out there and do it manually. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna plan that mission and how I plan to run it over the next 18 to 24 months. And then at the end, I'm gonna share something with you that I found out that I didn't realize when I first ran that mission. And it's something that's pretty important. So it's very simple, but it's something that I think everybody should be aware of if they're gonna use Waypoints 2.0 Intelligent Flight Mode. So let's get to it. <laughs> So there is the construction site. As you can see, they already have some of the girders up and they have a lot of the infrastructure in place already, but um, it's gonna start to get pretty interesting now as the weather warms up. You know, they've been putting up this steel all winter, which is completely amazing to me that, uh, that these guys were working all winter. So kudos to them for all of their hard work. So I'm gonna get into position right here and I'm gonna just basically go to the the point where I want this mission to start at. Now I'm probably gonna go up to about 300 feet just so we can get a pretty good perspective um, pointing you know, directly down at the uh, construction site. So right now I'm facing due west and this is kind of about the position I'm, I wanna do this at. So let's bring up this here and as you can see, yeah, we're at 300 feet let's go back to this view right here okay so now we're going to enable the waypoints we're going to bring up the waypoints right there so you can see the screen is the same and um, i'm actually going to you know if you look on the map here well you can't really see because of the zones but it's just open field so it's hard for me to determine where to set my waypoints uh, to do a pre-planned pre flight, so I can't do it that way. So what I need to do is do it the old-fashioned way. And uh, so right now I'm in a position where I want to be and I'm going to start setting waypoints. I'm going to click on C1 on the back of my controller right here, the left side. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And we're going to go ahead and click C1. So there you can see that we have a waypoint set. Now I'm going to travel around and basically what I'm going to do you guys is you know, point of interest would be kind of the ideal situation for this, but with point of interest, you're not gonna get the exact same flight path every time. And so I'm gonna kind of do a point of interest, uh, you know, flight on this, but by using waypoints, I can ensure that I'm gonna get the same angle uh, all of the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit C1 about right here. And then I'm just gonna keep going around in a circle just like as if we were going to do a, a point of interest. So, And I'll speed up some of these sections that might go a little bit too long. Oops, I raised the elevation there. I did not mean to do that, but that's okay. If you happen to raise the elevation, um, you can change it when you set specific parameters for each waypoint. And so now we're going to C1. All right, so as you can see, we set up a waypoint mission that basically looks like a point of interest. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap on each of these because you can see that we have um, kind of a different height for some of these, which might not, not, not necessarily be that bad, but uh, we're gonna try to make these all the same. Now, I'm not sure if there's a way to do that to make these all the same, but we're just gonna scroll through we're going to keep all these right at about 300. So we're just going to hit that little arrow, go over to the next one, and 300. And I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to watch this. All right, so there we have them all set to the same, about 300 feet. Now the other things that we want to set is I want this to run um, at the same speed. So we're just going to put it at, we'll put it at 18 miles per hour. 
and then we're going to go to custom root gimbal pitch we're going to leave at negative nine uh camera action we're not going to set the camera action because um because i want it to do an arc pattern and when you set it for arc pattern you can't set camera action uh, and then point of interest we're going to actually set that right now so basically all i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this little star here i'm going to pick the center of this circle that i just made and so right there that's going to be the point of interest i'm going to click on that i'm going to raise um the value a little bit i'm going to just put it at 50 feet 50 let's say 51 for 51 drones and then what we're going to do on the very bottom here we're going to link all of the waypoints we're going to click on link waypoint and click on that little symbol right there and that's going to highlight all of those uh, so they're all pointing directly at the center uh, of the circle okay so that way we know every time i run this mission the camera is going to be pointing in that direction now we're going to save this and then we're going to go in here to the task library and we're going to click on that right there and we're going to rename this medical park and hit done all right and we already have it loaded so we don't have to click on load now one thing that i do uh, need to do is I'm going to set, oops, now see there, I uh, mistakenly added another po another point of interest. I don't want that there, so I'm gonna click on it and then click on the little trash can and that will delete it. But I think we are all set to go, except one thing, I'm gonna click on waypoint number one and nope, I can't change, I uh, can't change the camera action because we are running, um, we are running the, um, can't recall the name of it right now. <laughs> the arc setting. All right, arc setting we have set. Close that. I think we are good to go. We're gonna go ahead and hit go. Make sure that everything is good. Free, return to home 30. When it's finished, um, return to home. Continue task, arc setting. Starting waypoint is number one. We're gonna cruise at 15. Um, I think I wanted that faster. Let's move that up. We're going to go up to 18, and I think we're good. So we're going to hit start. It's uploading the task, and then we're going to watch it do its thing. So it's headed to the first waypoint right now, and I will need to hit the record button uh, because we did not set a camera task. So as soon as it gets to waypoint number one, should turn. going down to the proper elevation so as you can see it's dropping down to 300 feet facing the direction and I will hit the record button now hopefully this taste takes less than four minutes because I see I only have about four minutes left on my uh, memory card and if it does take longer than that I'll have to just run this again and uh, but basically you guys get the idea right now so we can watch it follow its path and it's just going to go along each of these waypoints it's going to keep that arc it's not going to go there and stop go there and stop it's not going to run straight lines it's going to make a nice circle and so i think that's going to turn out the best and so if i do run out of time what i'll do at the very end of the video you guys will see the the completed um, mission if i do happen to run out of time here so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up as it runs through the mission Okay, one thing that I'm noticing here that I don't like is you can see right here as we get to number five, when it gets to that waypoint, it kind of corrects the direction a little bit. And uh, and so right, well, it didn't do that on, uh, on that one. Excuse me, that was, which one was that? That was on number six, but let's watch what happens when it gets to waypoint number seven. As you can see, it kind of shifts a little bit to correct the point of view. And I don't really like that. I want it to have a nice, smooth circle so let's see here now we're getting to seven okay that one wasn't too bad i noticed on the first um probably three or four waypoints when i got to the waypoint it kind of corrected a little bit to keep uh to keep that point of interest 
So let's see if it does it through the rest of the uh, mission. Okay, it did not do it at waypoint number eight. So I think what it is, um, I'm assuming that maybe you need to have more waypoints set in there so it's not such a, a deviation uh, from one waypoint to the next. And so I think that's important that to have as many waypoints as possible if you want to have a nice smooth circle. We're almost running out of time here. We're coming up on 40 seconds, so we're not going to be able to complete this mission uh, as far as recording it. It will complete the mission, but we're not going to get it all on video. But let's just see here at waypoint number 10. So that was pretty smooth. So I think it's really important to make sure that you have uh multiple waypoints enough waypoints you don't want too much distance in between those waypoints or when it gets to uh ones that have been too long it's going to correct and and point at the point of interest and so i think uh i think i should set more waypoints so i'm actually going to do that i'm going to reset this mission and uh because i want to make sure that i have a nice smooth circle um as we run this Because from um, number 11 to number 12, it is quite a distance, so it might correct here. Let's check it out. Yep, see there a little bit? It kind of corrected a little bit to the right, and so I think the reason for that is because there was too much distance in between the waypoints. And now we're coming up on the last one, uh, waypoint number 13. And that one corrected just a little bit as well. So. The mission is completed and now it's returning home. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this so you guys don't have to listen to that beeping. All right, and we will, oh, there's the low battery. So before we head back, I do have to tell you that I did it again. I created a new waypoint mission. What I did is I made the waypoints much closer together. So I ended up with 50 waypoints and it's definitely much smoother. So I guess my biggest takeaway from this video for those of you that are going to use the waypoints 2.0 is if you're setting up a mission something like this if you want to have a point of interest type thing and also i guess i should mention that i did not set a point of interest what i did is i just clicked on c1 and i just kept going around the construction site and i just kept clicking c1 about every three or four seconds and 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 it remembered the camera angle as i was um, hitting c1 and so it kept that um, camera angle so I didn't set the point of interest I just left it without setting that and the camera you know maintained that line of sight with uh, as as the same as I recorded it and so it turned out a lot better it's definitely much smoother there's no corrections as there were before so if you're gonna create a waypoint mission and you want to keep it looking cinematic just be sure that you create as many waypoints as you can all right let's head back home okay so here are my final thoughts on waypoints 2.0 Overall, it's a very powerful intelligent flight mode that provides endless possibilities when it comes to programming flight plans. Now, that being said, I think it's still something that's gonna require a lot of practice to become proficient at. After I watch my final footage again, it's still not as perfect as I'd like it to be. If you speed up the footage, it's evident that there are still abrupt adjustments made to the camera position at some of the waypoints. So some questions that still need to be explored include, what if I were to just set like four waypoints and designate a point of interest and then run the arc mode? And then also, perhaps speed plays a factor. If I set the mission to run slower, would the camera adjustments be less obvious? And finally, would it ultimately be better in a situation like this to actually use the point of interest intelligent flight mode? But I would have to ensure that my center is always the same by hovering directly over the same point every flight to set that point of interest. And then I would also have to be sure to keep my altitude and distance set the same. It's more hassle, but ultimately I think it would result in smoother footage. I'd like to know your thoughts on this. How would you suggest running this mission? Let me know in the comments. I really want this to turn out, so I hope I can find the perfect solution. And maybe one of you out there can help me. If I gave you guys anything of value today, please click on that thumbs up button and let me know that you liked it. Also, if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I want to thank you guys for watching today and as always fly safe and fly smart.